a great looking snake and the clutch that we're cutting today could potentially produce more. Okay, all right. Well, we got one. This isn't bad. This is bad. We actually got a well, the bachelorette party that I was kind of looking forward to to see how it was going to go. Uh, haven't been here yet. Oh, what is going on? It's just, they definitely, they definitely just picked on me. Stop sending him knives, please. It's not safe for any of us. Oh, oh. Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today is going to be kind of crazy. We actually have a really cool clutch of eggs that I'm going to be cutting a little bit. I did want to just give you the continued update on Ben and Jerry. They're doing really well. I know you guys remember a month or so ago they kind of hurt themselves. It's healing up amazing. They're eating really good and I just think they're incredible animals. And it's kind of cool because now we have a two-headed snake and a two-headed snapping turtle. And by the way, that little monkey is doing well too. Today we also have one of the craziest things. We actually have a bachelorette party coming in for a tour today. Don't know what that's going to be about. I don't think there's going to be any strippers, so uh, I'm just warning you. No, there won't be anything like that. It's going to be pretty wild. We have a birthday party, and, and listen, just buckle up, because it's going to be a really fun day. And together, why don't we just push all our problems aside and have a great 12 or 15 minutes together. Of course, the Super Lori Leopard Ball Python is looking absolutely incredible. What a great looking snake, and the clutch that we're cutting today could potentially produce more. It's a Super Lori pinstripe bred to a Lori, so we could get some Super Lori, some Super Lori pins. Who knows what's going to happen, but enough dilly-dallying around. By the way, where did that term dilly-dallying come around? Anyways, regardless, let's go ahead and start the day with cutting this clutch of eggs. This dude's like a machine gun. Woo, 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 woo. Unbelievable. Let's go cut this clutch. I have one quick clutch to cut today, and it's a banger. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a super lorry pinstripe ball python bred to a lorry. Now because it's a super, all the animals are going to be lorry, but on average half should be super lorry, but then there's the pinstripe mix in there, so we could get lorry pins, we could get super lorry pins, we could get super lorries, and we could even get lorries. But regardless, should be a pretty cool clutch. Five eggs, let's hope for some little blue babies. I tell you what, I am excited about this. Oh my gosh, what an amazing clutch this is. Okay, what do we have? The first egg is... Okay, it's a lorry pinstripe. Again, everything has to be lorry because of the super. So this is a pinstripe and a lorry. Pretty cool. Let's see what egg number two has to offer. Let's see what egg... What the heck is that? What do we got here? Another, okay, weird. All right, another lorry pinstripe. Uh, I was thinking we were gonna get some supers here. Now we're down to three eggs, people. That's not exactly encouraging that our first two eggs didn't work out the way I was expecting them to work out for sure. Let's see what the third egg is. Oh my gosh. We have just a normal lorry ball python. This is crazy, people. I mean, I thought for sure, on average, half should be super lorry. We're down to two eggs. And we don't have any super lorries. This is the way the cookie crumbles. Gods, gods have not been in my favorite so far, but we've got two eggs left. Maybe we'll hit two super lorries. Oh my gosh, it's a lorry pinstripe. Oh my gosh, we're down to one egg, people. I thought literally I was gonna be cutting like three, four super lorry ball pythons today. One egg left. Who are we gonna, oh, let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. Positive vibes, people, positive vibes. Before I open this egg up, down in the comments right now, what am I gonna produce? Is it gonna be a super lorry, super lorry pin? Is it gonna be a lorry pin? Is it gonna be a lorry? What is it gonna be? Right now, don't cheat, okay? <sighs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Okay, all right. Well, we got one, this isn't bad, this is bad. We actually got a Super Lorry pinstripe in the last class, so we got everything we could possibly get. Now, interestingly enough, the Super Lorry pins are more like silvery, not as blue, but still an absolute ripper. I'm excited, at least we hit one Super Lorry. Let me know in the comments right now if you guys said we we're gonna hit a Super Lorry pin in that last day. That's pretty awesome. Maybe uh, I'll pick one of you lucky people that didn't cheat, and uh, maybe I'll send you something. So go ahead, comment down below what you think, and uh, that's it for egg cutting. You know, guys, we've done a lot of crazy things here in the last year at the Rep and we had a lot of people come, but I gotta be honest with you, this is the first time that we ever had a bachelorette party. I'm excited, I mean, obviously, I'm sure this is like a bachelorette day or something like that, and this is just one part of it. Obviously, it's in the morning, so I don't think they're gonna be partying it up or something like that, but they should be here any minute. Should be a really interesting adventure. I've got Bruce on the two-headed snapping turtle duties here, getting them going, and you said they ate for the first time? Yeah, dude, oh my God, I'm so freaking excited about this. What did this. they eat? Like, so they have, I actually got a little, few pieces of walleye right oh, here. Walleye. 
Yeah, like so I just got a little piece here and a, and a larger piece and I had to basically just kind of see what they were more interested in. And so I ended up finding out they were actually more interested in the larger piece and I got the, I think the, the, if he's facing us, he's his right head, the one that actually took a piece okay, out. Yeah, so he's got awesome. Yeah. Well, that's super cool. Again, uh, that first meal is huge, especially for a two-headed animal. You guys know that. So the fact that Bruce has them eating now is a great sign. Now we just have to keep babying them and before you know it, they're going to get big. They're going to be awesome. So keep up the good work, Bruce. Thank All right, cool. Well, the bachelorette party that I was kind of looking forward to just see how it was going to go. Uh, hasn't been here yet. They're about five minutes late. So I really don't know what's going on yet. Uh, maybe it's going to be a no-show. Don't know. I was kind of excited to share the experience with you guys. So uh, fingers crossed they'll show up. If not, we'll just find something else to do. I want to show off a few skinks because I haven't shown them to you for a long time. This is actually from that litter that was a coffee male bred to a red blaze male. And some of these have gotten ridiculous. Look at this one. I like this one a lot because it has a lot of banding, a lot more busy pattern, unlike most of the skinks that I produce. So it's really cool. And some of these are actually now on our website for sale, believe it or not. I want to keep them all, but Laura's like, we've got enough skinks. So I'm keeping a few back, but man, this one is an absolute ripper. And then this one is one of my favorite of the coffee lines that we produce because that coffee is really coming through. And that's basically what it is, a polygenic trait that's bred generation after generation to just have that kind of really chocolatey coffee look to it. So this one has both the red from the blaze and that kind of coffee look to it. So this is the perfect combination of both. And these get better as they get bigger. So the larger it gets, the more red and unbelievable this one is gonna become. This one isn't quite as bright and kind of red as the last one that I showed you guys, but it's got that nice orange look to it. And that's the thing that's great about skinks, right? Is that you can have a litter of 10 or 15 babies and each one looks completely different. The parents certainly have something to do with it, but there's a lot of polymorphism within it, which is basically just as a fancy way of saying, it. there's a lot of variety when it comes to these guys, but I think this guy is absolutely cute. And as it gets older, it should get more orange. I tell you what, I am so happy with the animals we produce. And finally, they are up on the website after months of me saying, I don't want to sell any of them so if you guys are interested in skinks so go ahead check out bhbreptiles.com and uh, you can pick yourself up an awesome northern blue tongue skink well i'm sad to say that it looks like the bachelorette party is off so i guess they aren't showing up and uh it's kind of a bummer i was looking forward to it i thought it'd be really a fun time just to hear their story of what they were thinking and why they chose this place but uh well they didn't show up no show it's only the second time that we've had a no show for a tour or any kind of event so uh, what can you do? You can't do anything about it. We'll have a good time. We still have a birthday party coming up here pretty soon. So I'll get ready for that amongst all the other millions of things I've got going on today. We have the birthday in the house. You're the birthday girl. Thank you so much for coming. Awesome. Yeah. Great shirt, by the way. I love oh, thanks. it. Fantastic. You guys came all the way from Ohio? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's have some fun, all right? Yeah. Let's do it. finishing up some stuff with the birthday party. Really cool people came all the way up from Ohio for the birthday party. They've been to the Reptarium a couple times, so it was really absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that even the friends that were a little bit less enthusiastic when they started at the end were like, oh my God, it's so cute, it's so amazing. They were an amazing bunch. I love doing parties like this. A little species spotlight, of course, Nova is a frill dragon. These guys are endemic to Northern Australia and Southern New Guinea. Of course, they are of the Clematosaurus king eye, which is the only member of that particular genus. They're in the gamut family, but of course they're really known for these frills right here, right? And those are a defense mechanism. It's also a territorial thing and sometimes can even be used for mating. When it comes to Nova, he will actually fill out and bob his head when he's ready to breed. Pretty cool animals, but they're arboreal, of course, and they're really pretty timid animals overall. I mean, they will open their mouth and frill up, and that is, again, just a kind of defense mechanism. But the truth is, with Nova here, he never even frills because he's so absolutely docile. They're definitely bug eaters, but every once in a while, they'll take a mouse or something like that. He loves roaches, he loves superworms, so on like that. Obviously, they're gonna live in the trees. The Australian version's a little bit bigger and have a little more red and rust color in them. They're really an amazing agamid. If it's something that you're interested in, a kind of a boreal cool setup, they need a little bit higher humidity than, say, a bearded dragon. Hot spot of about 90, 92 degrees. Cold spot in the low 80s, maybe 82 to 84 degrees. And that's pretty much it. A relatively easy animal to care for, especially because captive bred animals do extremely well, and as you can see, no is absolutely incredible. And of course, a lot of people think that these guys remind them of that cool Jurassic Park moment when the dinosaur frills up and spits. That's actually a Dilophosaurus, which is very similar to a frill dragon. Of course, a lot smaller, and frill dragons don't spit venom. So there's a little bit of a frill dragon spotlight. Guys, oh. take a look at this. Oh my gosh. First off, 
Bruce has been working with Diddy, of course, and look at Diddy. It's definitely doing it, but oh, what is going on? Diddy. It's what? just, he definitely, he definitely just pooped on me. Oh my gosh, it's continuing to poop on you. It's oh. still coming out. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh my gosh. This is why okay. I, this is why so, I get uh, feeding him. Oh, okay. Oh, he's up there. Oh my gosh, Bruce. That is gross. Go wash yourself up. Oh my gosh. So obviously Bruce is working with Diddy. Uh, definitely get him to the point where he can come up. This is the idea, is to get Diddy to where he can come out and actually be on people because Bella doesn't like to come out. So Dilly is doing really good, but uh, Bruce Bruce has crap all over him. I, I gotta go, I, it's starting to make me queasy. Lori, remember Alexis that came on the tour that went to that music festival? Yeah. She actually sent us something that she made specifically because of your obsession with Christmas. And I'm pretty excited for okay. you to see it. So is this for me? This is for you. Well, it's for us, but it's mainly for you. Because what's yours is mine. Oh, that's how that works. Oh, there's, oh, there's all kinds of stuff. There's, hey, J hey, Jay. Jay's got a letter. <laughs> hey, hey, Bruce. Bruce. Bruce has got a letter. <laughs> hey, Brian, I've got a letter. That's it. So I guess this isn't for me. <laughs> no, it's still for you. Thank you. I'll read this and get back to you on this one. But let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, wait a second. There's a bunch of... Oh, this one says it said oh. they decided to send some necklaces. Yeah, they some, have names on. She decided to send some necklaces. And, oh, this is Brian. Yeah. I'm going to open up. See, there is Let's something see. for me. And there's Jay and there's Bruce. That's what she... This is really cool, guys. This is actually a shed skin, and it's made in the head of a snake. So this is one of the sheds. Oh, it's actually got shed inside. Shed? Yeah, and then... Oh, and it's, that this is, is Lucy awesome. on it. Lucy? Also, so is this a piece of Lucy's shed? This that must what be that a piece is? of Lucy's shed. She's got two of them? Oh, my God. This is so dope. So I the sheds it. are in there? Yeah, the sheds. You see how the shed's inside? Oh. That is super okay. cool. I love it. Thank you so much. That is so cool. She sent a bunch yeah. of these. So thank you so much for that. I love it. And uh, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, she sent us all kinds of stuff. How oh, nice. Oh, these are. Uh. Okay. So this, so this, this a is. clue. There's some hangers. Some wall hangers. And some chalk. And some chalk. So we're starting <laughs> to get a clue of what this is. Uh, are we? Are we getting a clue? Oh my gosh. You have to pack this to where it was so. Here, where's that knife? Knife. <laughs> so watch so your fingers. Watch your fingers. Necessary. Watch your fingers. Stop sending him knives, please. It's not safe for any of us. Oh, oh. See, oh, I told myself. you. I almost just, just stabbed my foot. Oh my gosh. Barcha Christmas tree counter. Look at the Bartek Christmas tree counter. So as I put up each tree, we have to update. Yeah, the you guys know that Lori loves trees, and it is tis the season. That's oh, there's funny. little ornaments that go on it too. So there's ornaments. There's all kinds of. Oh. Got like this goes on it. Very cool. And of course, That's hilarious. The back thing for the hangers and stuff like that. So Alexis, thank you so much. That is awesome. <laughs> we'll hang this up somewhere, and we'll actually do the count this year. What's the over under? Nine, I'd say. I'd say nine trees are the over under for the Barczyk family. I'd say we're probably over nine, to be honest with you, because that's You never normal. know, it just is how I feel. Well, how listen. I feel, what I see, they speak to me, you know. Well, thank you. This is awesome. I love it. I love that you did this for us, so uh, you're thank amazing. You. And thanks for everyone that sends us stuff. You guys are all incredible. That was cool to finally produce another Super Lori Ball Python. A little bit of a bummer that the event of the Bachelorette party didn't show up, but that's going to happen. Hopefully, I'll hear from them and maybe we'll reschedule. I don't know, but that was definitely a trip. If you enjoyed egg cutting, which a lot of you do, here's another egg cutting video. When I hatch that Super Lori Leopard Ball Python, here's an entire playlist of egg cutting. Over here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn those post notifications. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to somebody. And I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.